The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through him, and with him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. A man named John was sent from God. He came for testimony to testify the light so that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to testify to the light, the true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world, he was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. The glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. John testified to him and crowded out, saying, This was he of whom I said, The one who is coming after me ranks ahead of me, because he existed before me. From his fullness we have all received grace in place of grace. Because while the law was given through Moses, grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God, the only Son, God who is at the Father's side, has revealed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today we come to celebrate the important moment of our lives as Christians. This is the Christmas day, the birth of Christ. Christ is born among us to bring us peace, love, and joy. And it is for this reason that we are all called to be joyful, to be a happy people. We celebrate this moment after a very long time of preparation. We began with the Advent that is the preparation to welcome the baby Jesus who is born among us. And here he is with us. To get into the real understanding of Christmas Day, we have to get back to the Old Testament and reflect upon the fall of man. So man falls and he sins 
and God, out of his love, sees that man has fallen, what do I do? And he initiates the salvation process to send Christ to come and redeem humanity. And now, this is the mystery of incarnation, because Christ comes among humanity. God himself comes down to redeem humanity. So this is the mystery of incarnation, uh, God who is divine and at the same time human has come to be with uh, the people to redeem them. This is the moment where we celebrate the love of God who wants to give us again the life of saintship, who wants to give us the life uh, of being called uh, the children of God. This is a grace uh, for which we did not pay for it, but it is just by the love of God that we are redeemed by the presence of Christ who is born among us. This time we also remember all the people uh, who are not with us uh, due to different problems. We understand if we come to our human understanding that it is because of maybe some of the predicaments that they are going through. But again, therefore, we should understand that on the other side there is God. And as Christ shows us this love, where we see that man has fallen, but God sends Christ to raise uh, this humanity up. And in the same way, we are also called to be the light to our friends who are in darkness to be the help to our friends who are in difficulties. As I mentioned earlier, others are not with us here due to different predicaments, but let us be a, a new baby Jesus to them. We visit them, we provide the help we can, if it is a prayer, if it is a gift, and if it is just our presence, all that will make a difference because Christmas is the time of joy, is a time of sharing, is a time of uh, being present to uh, each other. So, uh, as we uh, celebrate this important uh, Eucharistic uh, celebration, we remember also uh, all those we have in our hearts and uh, we continue to pray for them, knowing the light of Christ who is born among us is also shining in their lives.